hello viewers i hope you are liking my videos and they are providing you the additional knowledge and clearing your concept towards the various aspects of media studies and subjects so in this video i'm going to talk about the role of community radio in the field of development so first let's have a look at the what do you understand by community radio well, in simple words, community radio is a social process or an event in which members of the community associate together to design programs and produce and air them. Well, if talked about the core definition, West Louis Tabing defines community radio station as one that is operated in the community, for the community, about the community and by the community. Let's have a look at the history of the community radio. In India, the advent of community radio can be traced back to the mid-1990s. It followed the February 1995 when Supreme Court judgment said that the airwaves are public property. In 1996, Voices, a development communication NGO based out of Bangalore, organized a gathering of the community radio stakeholders. A declaration calling for the establishment of a third tier of broadcasting, that is, community broadcasting, was signed. Calls were also made for the grant of the licenses to the NGO and other non-profit groups to run the community radio stations. At this time, UNESCO provided a portable production and transmission briefcase radio station kit to the voices to do the experimental broadcasting and get hands-on experience in setting up an independently run community radio station. In early 2003, the government of India released the first set of community radio guidelines but restricted the eligibility to the educational institutions only. On February 2004, Anna FM was launched as India's first campus community radio station by the students of Anna University. However, by that time, the marginalized and the voiceless communities remained outside of the community radios. Then on 16th November 2006, the government implemented new community guidelines which permitted NGO educational institutions and agriculture institutions to own and operate the community radio stations. The first community-based radio station licensed to an NGO was launched on 15th October 2008 by Deccan Development Society in Pastapur village, Andhra Pradesh. As of 31st May 2019, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has listed 251 operational community radio stations in India. So let's know about the effectiveness of community radio station, which is why, are it's, why it is more preferable to the people of the communities. First, it's into the local dialect of the people. right? So the next one is the illiteracy is not the barrier because somebody who does not know to read and write can easily listen and understand the messages that are played onto the community radio stations. It's a cheaper medium. You don't, you don't have to buy a particular separate uh, medium for listening to the radio. And it is by the local people and for the local people, the one, those who are residing there in their own communities. It's a portable medium, can be carried out anywhere. Uh, you can just, whether you are into the fields or during you are traveling or while you are in working at home, you can easily listen to the radio. Uh, it is more catering towards the community issues. Somebody the community can relate to the issues of the local people. It talks about the solutions and the problems of the local community. And uh, we all have seen that how the radio has played a very important role into the field, in the emergencies during the time of the emergencies. Now let's know who all can own the community radio stations. Well, civil societies and voluntary organizations Krishi Vigyan Kendras, government institutions, state agriculture universities like PAU, 
ICAR institutions, registered societies and autonomous bodies registered under the Societies Act. Community radio also has to face the various challenges for its growth. The first one is the allocation of funds. Lack of funds allotment by the government in form of the advertisements is also a hindrance towards the growth of the community radio stations. Another is that the people with the professional education and knowledge are not available for the functioning of the community radio stations. The government support plays a very important role and thus the long process of getting a license and complicated process of getting a clearance from the departments is also a very big problem. Adoption of the latest technology, upgrading and adaption to the latest broadcasting techniques is also important for the functioning of the radio stations. Now let's discuss some of the examples of the community radio stations. And the first one under this category is Radio Kotegiri was founded in 2013 by the Keystone Foundation to cater to the needs of the people of the Kotegiri town in Nilgiris district. And this radio station caters to the needs of the Sustainable Development Goals. Another radio station was started in 2004 by Dhan Foundation to benefit the fishing and the farmers community who were devastated during the tsunami in 2004. Another example of the community radio station is Sarthi Chhalap of Bangalore and Radio Brahmaputra of Assam. These programs played awareness program during the COVID times and the programs related to the stress management to take the uh, care related to the COVID and for the migrant workers who were away from their families. Another example and the very most important example is the Radio Udan, an online community radio station which is being run by the visually challenged people for the benefit of their community. Another example is the Apno Radio, which is the Rajasthan first community radio station which is run to benefit the women, working women of that particular community and to support their self-reliance. And the last example is Vasundra Vahini Community Radio Station, which is run in Maharashtra for the benefit of the farmers. And it runs the various programs which are related to the seeds, which are related to the better farming, the organic farming. I hope you're liking my videos and they're adding to your knowledge. So if you have any doubt or query related to any topic, you can write into the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.